Welcome guys to this video on Lurker Farming for Darksiders 3. If you're wondering what a Lurker is, it's basically the currency used to upgrade Fury, this badass looking character that's right in front of you. And uh, this farming strategy will help you get the dreaded Keep It 100 trophy and achievement. I have tried a few other methods of farming, especially the ones near the church. and. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is absolutely another method of going about it, but I found that it takes way too long. But I have to mention that one major drawback to this method is that you have to kill the boss to keep all your lurkers you have collected. Yes, this is a boss fight, but trust me, this one gives you the most bang for your buck. Uh, at the, I'll show you in just a few minutes that uh, I have about 180,000 lurkers slash souls collected. Okay, uh, to make things easier during your farming run, uh, you need a few items. Mainly, you will need the Balanced Fortune Enhancement. And yes, you have to fully upgrade it to become balanced. A little weird, but yeah, that's what it is. Uh, and additionally, if you have the Balanced Marauder, I think it is. Called. Yeah, it uh, gives you a 30% item drop chance. This will help you out with the enemies because they tend to drop a lot of stuff once you start killing them. And uh, yes, the balance fortune enhancement needs to be equipped to the barbs of scorn, your default weapon of choice. And one more item you will need is the raiment of armor again. Uh, this armor gives you around 30% lurkers when you kill an enemy uh, and I have upgraded it to plus 4 uh, at the moment so yes it does about 30% extra also additionally you can have this little talisman over here for saving <clears throat> 5 humans during the story campaign you will get 10% uh, additional lurkers when killing an enemy and for your consumables, you can use a small wisdom shard, which will also grant you 100% uh, lurkers from enemies defeated. But I would advise you to just hold on to that for a little bit. Don't use it immediately because this fight is a little, I mean, it'll take a little time to get used to the timing and all that. But once you're comfortable with farming these, uh, this boss fight, then go ahead and use it. Then it makes a lot of sense because you will get a lot more lurkers from uh, using this consumable. Okay. Now for the fun part. Uh, the farming location is... Da -da -da -da, slot. Our good old friend Slot. And basically, I'll show you what my farming method is. What happens is he starts throwing these green sludge projectiles at you, I would say. All you need to do is dodge. And yes, I am playing on the PS4 version. So what you do is dodge all that. And while you are doing that, just try and move around to this area over here where the train carriage is so see one guy's coming for me just try and keep him at bay okay go so another one also be mindful that when these guys spawn they can hit you and they take and they do do a lot of damage so what you need to do is this area over here that little alcove, you need to get under that. What that does is, two things that it does. Mainly it will help you and you can get away from slots, projectiles. And the other thing is, it kind of funnels the crab enemies in. So, two plus points here. All you need to do is, from here, just do your wide swing. 
that's a long press of the square and then just farm these souls that's about it rinse and repeat and if you do die just respawn come back to the same location keep going at it again so this is another reason you shouldn't use the wisdom uh, small wisdom shard because if you do accidentally get killed this doesn't respawn with you it's like a limited time but saying that it does last a long time so once you do get a hang of fighting this boss and like when you have things down then use it for sure you are going to easily get at least 20,000 souls in about 15 minutes at so you just reclaim the souls you got okay that's 1000 that's not what i was looking for okay that's what i was looking for. this is another place that i have died so you can tell that this method of doing it yields the most uh other i have 186,000 and this is from just a couple hours of farm. The other methods are easier and a little more safer, but you won't get the best bang for your buck. No doubt. So, one thing to keep in mind of is that Fury automatically targets slot. So, when you do go into like rage mode or anything, he will go directly for it. And if you do accidentally do too much damage to him he starts hitting his uh, staff on the ground so that indicates that he is not going to really do anything else so you just finish him off get to the second part of the boss fight and and get killed by him. that's about it that's all you can do all right anyway that's it for this video take care stay safe and see you later